Um, I'm Lisa Bishop and I make functional pottery. Functional pottery is like the pots that you would use in your everyday life. So like mugs, bowls, pasta bowls, things like that. Work that you actively use in your life. There is something so like gratifying about making something with your hands. Uh, my background is in graphic design, so I do a lot, or I did a lot of like digital work. Um, but making something from essentially nothing is really, really gratifying to me. Um, making things that people use. You know, I want to make pots that people want to use, mugs that people want to hold, things like that. Um, I actually took a class here at Hollowed Earth. Um, in 2021, my husband and I came and took an intro class. I quickly fell in love and decided that I wanted to take advantage of the fact that I could take classes at college. So I took some ceramic classes at Anderson University. Um, once I graduated, um, I joined here at Hollowed Earth and have been making here since. There are a lot of steps in the pottery process and a lot of it is waiting. So um, you start with your idea um, and then you have to do the clay, you wedge the clay, make it like malleable to use. Uh, if you're a wheel thrower like me, you throw it on the wheel, take it off, let it dry up enough. Then you put it back on the wheel, trim it, which is like getting rid of all the excess um, and like revealing that like refined form. Then you would let it dry up a little bit more. If you were gonna do like a mug, you would make and attach a handle. Then it has to get totally dry and go into a bisque firing, which is the first firing it goes through. Um, that gets all of like the water and moisture out of the clay and makes it hard. It's no longer like gonna disintegrate on you. After that, you would glaze it. So glaze is like chemicals and particles. There's some glass like particles in there. There's clay particles. And when like brought up to like 20, like over 2000 degrees, it all gets molten and encases the pot. And that's what makes it like microwave dishwasher safe and like durable. Um, so after you glaze it, then you fire it again to a higher temperature. And then once it comes out, I always sand the bottoms of my pieces so they don't like scratch up your table. And then it's done. So right now my work is only on Instagram. I'm doing in-person markets. Um, so I'll have lots of markets in fall and winter but Lisa Bishop Pottery is where you can find me right now. I'll be building up a website soon. Yeah, I mean, I just like playing with dirt, and making pots. <laughs> That's all this is, is like slinging dirt around. <laughs>